I'm a savage. Classic, bougie. <gasps> what time is it? Welcome to the next episode of Pajama Drama, where I contemplate things while wearing my pajamas and drinking coffee. It's important to note that I only own four pairs of pajamas, so you're gonna see these on repeat week in and week out. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know my channel is about frugal living, budgeting, minimalism. If these topics interest you, please hit the subscribe button at this time, hit the like button, and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Now, just as I like to be frugal with my money, another thing I wanna share with you is I like to be frugal with my time. What does that mean? Well, just as I like to sparingly use my money on things that don't matter much so I can spend money on the things that do matter, I like to sparingly use my time on things that don't matter so I can use that extra time for the things that do matter. And I'm gonna tell you where you might be spending a little bit more time on things that don't matter and show you how to spend that time on the things that do. My subscribers, maybe even you watching, have been reading this book together this month, and one of the things that we just came across was this page. It was talking about average life expectancy and if you were this age, how many hours left you had of your life. So if you're 40 years old, you've got about 356,000 532 hours left of your life. And this isn't to be doomsday vibes, no. This is more to encourage you to think about how do you wanna spend your time? This book has triggered me to think about what do I wanna spend my time on? What do you wanna spend your time on? And how can we eliminate the things that we don't wanna waste our time on? Let me give you the perfect small example of how we can start talking about this. Have you ever seen the movie Along Came Polly? It stars Ben Stiller and Jennifer Aniston. There's this one scene where he is teaching her how to properly put away his decorative pillows that he has on his bed into a particular spot. And she very reluctantly asks, why are we doing this? Like, what's what's the point of all this? You don't sleep on these? And he's like, no, they're just decorative. And she's like, so every day you take them and you put them in the thing and then you take them out and you put them back on and what? I just don't see the point. And he was like, well, I just thought it was nice. It was a habit. It was something he'd always done. And then he realizes how much time he has spent putting pillows on and off of a bed. He says, I spent four minutes in the morning four minutes at night, that's eight minutes of my life. He says, I figured it out, that's 56 minutes a week. That's nearly two days of my life that I spend putting pillows on and off a of bed. Isn't that the perfect example? Do you have anything that you habitually do right now that is just pointless? You would rather take those two days of your year and do something else? Can you think of anything? Here are some of my examples of things that I've cut out that I don't wanna spend a lot of time doing, that I now do less and use that time for something else I'd rather do. The first thing is my nails. No polish, I literally only clip them, that's it. I used to take the time to go to the salon and spend time getting ready, gas to go to the salon, sitting there for an hour, driving back, and I used to think that that was something that was valuable to me. It isn't anymore. Another thing, let's while we're talking about grooming and that kind of thing, uh, people get their hair done when they get their hair colored, maybe every six weeks. I stretch that out and do it more every eight to 10 weeks. So instead of going to the salon eight to nine times a year, I only go five to six times a year which that shaves off hours and hours of my year that I rather spend doing something else than I still look okay. Let's talk about laundry. There are some people that do laundry every single day. I do it once a week. Next for me is groceries. Some people go to the grocery store every single day. Nope, not me. One time per week, and if I did not get something that I wanted to get, 
I'm going without. One time per week, that's it. I don't want to spend my time in the grocery store, especially these days. I want to get in, I want to get out. One time a week, that's it. While we're talking about that, another way I save time is I batch errands. If I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to fill up my tank if I need it. If not, I'm gonna wait till the next time I'm doing groceries. If I'm doing groceries and I'm getting gas, I'm probably gonna go check my P.O. box because it's right near there. And if I'm gonna get groceries and I'm gonna get gas and I'm gonna go to my P.O. box, maybe if I need to go to the bank, I'm going there at that time. One time per week, that's my errand time. And if I miss it, I'll do it next week. Making dinner. Some people spend hours and hours on food every single week. Right now, as you guys know, I'm doing a calorie deficit and it's very easy to track my food and it's very simple preparation. I don't spend hours and hours making elaborate meals. Maybe if your family dynamic is different and that's something you enjoy, then it's worth it. But for me, I do everything very simply, easily, and I don't waste a lot of time on preparation. Ironing. I don't iron. Not ever. Don't own an ironing board. Not going to do it. I put it in the dryer on that wrinkle-free cycle. And if that doesn't work, that's all I've got. I am not spending hours of my week ironing. No. Getting sucked down social media scroll holes. Oh, I have been there. TikTok, you are my friend, but I have to limit my time with you because I will sit there for hours and enjoy your content. Hours of giggles and laughter. And while it is entertaining, there are some other things that I have to do with my life. If you get stuck in the social media scroll holes of Instagram, TikTok, even YouTube or Facebook or Snapchat, if any of them are a place where you are just spending a lot of your life and not really getting a ton of value, I would recommend just reducing the time you spend. Doesn't mean you have to cut it out at all. Check in on your people and move on. By the way, if you're on TikTok and you are gonna take a couple minutes, come check on me and follow me at kate.kaden. See you over there. It's too fun. As they say, life is short and you get to choose what you spend your time on. So just as you are strategic in how you spend your money, your time is super valuable if not the most valuable thing that you can spend. So stop wasting it on things that are not important to you or activities that are not important to you, that aren't productive, that don't bring you value. I have a video that I talk about time auditing. It's the video where I talk about everything is figure outable by Marie Forleo. I will leave a link down below so you can check that out. Around the four minute mark is where I talk about how you can actually find more hours in your day for yourself if you're always feeling like you never have enough time. Being frugal with your time will add hours to your life and hours of more enjoyable, productive time spent on the things that matter to you. Now is your turn. Take a minute and think, what is something that I do now that A, I don't enjoy, or B, I don't have any value in this that I'm spending my time doing. Leave it in the comments so we can scroll through and see if there's anything that we see that we're like, yeah, I do that too, and I don't wanna spend my time doing that anymore. It will be very helpful. Be selective with your time. Be frugal with your time. Be relentless about it. Spend your hours on the things that matter to you and get rid of the rest. If you like videos like this, I will leave a couple more here and here for you to watch next. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys. Bun says, have a good week, everybody.